Greetings Metal Community, so we'll get back with another um, final collection update. Uh, Dim the light a little bit. Yeah, this is uh, Bones from uh, <coughs> Belgium. Uh, just released out on uh, Invictus Records. This is uh, what I called a bit vicious, um, slightly dirty heavy metal. Uh, death, death metal, of course. Uh, great, great album. I really enjoy it. Uh, has like furious, uh, yeah, angry, vicious death metal. Just a absolute killer, killer album, which I recommend you all to check out. Links will be below, so you can um, can uh, figure it out for yourself. But you know, bands like uh, Nominon, uh, Ensnared, uh, yeah, Pyre, bands like that. Springs to mind when uh, listening to this, but uh, yeah, killer, killer stuff. So the title is um, Sombre Opulence, but as said, uh, links below. So you can check it out for yourself and make up your own opinion. And uh, then I finally got this, um, I don't know if I've shown it, but uh, I'm deaf. The uh, lesions of uh, a different kind. I mean, most people have uh, seen this before. Uh, a lot of people have, you know, praised this very high. Uh, finally, just pull the plug on it. Uh, not. Well, this is kind of a light green-ish color, but uh, but ugly. Uh, not not many black variants on the, of this album, anyway. So uh, yeah. Uh, actually pretty good stuff uh, I'm not uh, you know totally sold on this band uh, when it comes to the hype that has been around it but um, I do get why people like it I mean it's it's well written and well produced and everything is done right it's just for me it's kind of lacking that lit little extra that that would pop this album out but I mean it is done right so it might it just need a couple more spins. I played it like four or five times and, and I like it, but it's not like uh, wow. The wow factor is not there for me yet. Uh, then we have the new mall, uh, Seraphic Punishment. Uh, comes in a uh, variant that was uh, huge, swirly, or what's called merged. Pretty cool uh, colors, uh, you know, I'm not a fan of color, but they use the colors of the, um, the cover and then it's kind of okay by me. Like, turn this down a notch. Yeah, so I like Mole. I think they are, yeah, what people say, meat and potato, definitely in a way, but uh, they are solid in what they do. Um, and um, this album just them to do what they do and um, I have one issue with this and that's the uh, snare or the drum production in general I think is crap on this album uh, the snare drum is a little bit too high and the rest of the stuff is kind of buried in the mix in a way and that took me a couple of spins before I could um, yeah wrap my hand uh, my head around that because I'm yeah I'm pretty fucking annoyed when they don't produce the drums right and um, shouldn't be that difficult. Uh, I don't think the band intentionally wanted to sniff pop up and the rest kind of drown in the mix. But uh, yeah, overall uh, a very yeah great album actually. Uh, when I just get past the snare drum, and um, you can say it's kind of just straightforward death metal, but I do have some really cool elements that I put in here and there. Not much, just to to uh, sprouts it up a little bit. So um, yeah. Solid, solid album by Mall. Uh, you kind of know what you you get with them. So, uh. and we have the new um, Ritualization. Uh, the title of this album is uh, Hema Ignis Necros. Or album, it's actually an EP, I think. Um, it's five songs. No, three songs. I mean, but there are actually. 
total six songs, but uh, they have outros on every um, song, like uh, more like some Eastern, Eastern um, sounding, um, you know, like Arabic uh, sounding uh, folky stuff going on to create a mood. Uh, all those was created by um, a guy called uh, Scorpius uh, Androptimus from uh, Crimson uh, Moon. Some uh, very nice skulls here. Uh, ritualization is a death metal. I don't know if I said it. I think I've found um, I'm going to take out the vinyl because it's a very, very cool, of course, beautiful black vinyl, but uh, yeah. Very cool skull in the middle there. Um, great uh, stuff. I was initially a little, a little bit disappointed uh, because they have ki kind of incorporated more and more black metal into their sound. Not much, but you know, it's still a, a death metal band in my opinion, but you might say black and uh, death metal by now. Um, but all the songs are great. Have kind of an evil. Um, I've been in a mood for this type, kind of music lately, you know, the more evil uh, sounding death metal and um, the vocals are not very deep uh, and uh, yeah, a lot of cool riffs and uh, a good uh, kind of mood for it, a good evil mood, so uh, go check it out if you haven't heard this band before, um, their discography is uh, pretty damn good, so um, you should do that. Then we have a uh, twist tonger for me, uh, that's um, paroxysm or something with uh, abyss of uh, yeah, something, I don't remember the title of this, uh, Canadian, uh, more towards um, Mitoxerin, Mitoduktin, uh, whatever, or um, Adversario also from Canada. It is kind of death, black and death metal. And I don't think they're active anymore. This is an EP from, uh, I would say, 16 or something. So, a pressure, um, a hell pressure release. Yeah, this is pretty damn good if you like that kind of um, a little bit like that um, that style of, uh, of it's kind of death metal but with a lot of black metal feel to it uh, kind of pretty brutal at some point as well so um, I really like it it's not like the um, it's not like the doomy or anything it's just uh, and and dirty of course uh, dirty evil so if you haven't heard them uh, check them out uh, always links below so you can go and check it out I, I've kind of known about this for a long time but uh, just picked it up and a new one for me it's um, the Rathur Elysian Inferno out on uh, Dark Descent. This is a uh, US kind of war death metal in a way. A little bit all black and death. A little bit like um, Destroyer 666, uh, you know, the, the speedy, hardest part of Destroyer 666. Maybe. Uh, very cool cover as well. Uh, six tracks. I think it's an EP, but I'm not sure. It's 45 speed. See the guys upside down. So yeah, that's a picture of the guys with the flames and stuff. Really cool. Pretty good stuff. And again, this is kind of what I've been listening a lot to lately. So um, fit fitted very well to get this in the mail now. And uh, yeah, again, a you know evil. Have to, uh, I've been uh, receiving a good dose of, uh, of uh, kind of Satan, as I say when I want something evil. Then I got a new um, 
shed the skin. This is called um, Tomogenesis or Thomogenesis. I don't know how you pronounce that shit. Out on the house headbangers. Uh, I'm pretty sure most of you know it's old, old school sounding death metal. I would say more in the vein of um, Acheron or Asheron. I have always called them Acheron, but um, yeah, I don't know if it's right. So it's just quality, uh, again, a little bit evil death metal again. Uh, and a grower. I mean, first time I heard it, it's kind of. Okay, but uh, this it's getting better and better. So um, this is just kind of straightforward death metal uh, in, a, in a way. So, uh, but um, most of you guys know this band, so I'm pretty sure a lot of you have heard it or, or already bought it. Uh, then one black metal album, Cody. If you are still watching, Hello Misera. Uh, yeah, Monomania del Inexorable Vacio or Vacio. Uh, I don't remember where these guys were from. I was, uh, you know, kind of Spanish, but uh, that might be totally wrong. Really cool um, stuff in the corner there. Uh, yeah, when I heard that, uh, this is old school, kind of bitch necro death, uh, black metal, not. Very necro, but I kind of got a little bit feeling of um, you know early Gorgroth actually when I heard it. Uh, that might be just the kind of the mood of it, but uh, but it, it gave me the same feeling that those old uh, good uh, black metal albums do. So uh, if you want something uh, you know more of the necro side, I tend not to buy so much of that stuff, but um, it pops up sometimes. You know, good, good stuff in that vein as well then I have yeah this is used to be a um, black metal band uh, Dynanikos uh, from the Netherlands Ode to Acts of Murder Dystopia and Suicide uh, this original came out in 17 I do have the CD on it but um, yeah I wanted to grab the vinyl because I think it's a great album they sound a lot like Bethlehem from Germany if you don't know this band now. As I said, the three first albums were um, kind of cold, atmospheric, black metal. I think it was the three first, yeah, around that. And then they gradually, gradually changed the style a little bit, so this kind of more towards dark metal in a way. But great, great stuff, and um, yeah, doesn't sound like everything else, so um, pretty nice to have. I think it's only Dynamikus and Bethlehem that kind of mastered that style very well. And also picked up um, Sun Eater on vinyl, no, Sacrament on vinyl, Lucifer, or Lucifer, it's the EP that came out in um, somewhere in time. Just to say here, but um, yeah, I haven't had this before, I do have. Sun Eater and uh, the uh, seal thing that came out last year. Uh, great band. Uh, again, very evil, brutal, murky, uh, death metal, killer killer stuff. So now I have all the older, older shit in the house. So um, I'm pretty sure most of you check them out already, whether you like them or not. And then I'm gonna end up with a uh, very nice very nice uh, edition. Um, it is um, Tetralogy of Death. Very cool cover. I don't know if you can see it. This is a four way split between um, these bands, uh, the Quisitor, uh, Top, uh, Topos, um, Frenerit, and Undergang. Undergang. A, a co release between Extremely Rotten Production and Night Shroud records and the cool thing about this uh, is uh, you know it's black vinyl uh, nothing much to see there uh, in the center label just the name that's on the side which is cool 
But the good thing about this is the kind of booklets, which uh, actually are a poster and a, a massive one. So I will try to get it out and um, you know, destroying it because that's that poster is so fucking cool. I want to try to show you the whole thing a little bit slowly and just see how massive it is. A lot of cool, cool drawings here, um, and you know the second side will be like you know the helicopter here, and you have the lyric sheet uh, kind of thing, you know, with the text and the info on the bands. So yeah, just fucking killer stuff. Uh, let's check out what the guy who drew this. What's his name? Was uh, artwork by uh, Phobos A. D. Murleon. Probably seen his artwork before, but uh, yeah, killer stuff. You know, this is uh, four of uh, four of the best bands in Denmark uh, when it comes to kind of brutal, dirty death metal. Uh, if you can get all of this, uh, you know, pick it up. It's great music, but just the, the kind of poster is worth the money for me. So, yeah, I hope you uh, like it. It's kind of a, a artwork itself. So, yeah, that was this bunch. I do have another bunch, same size, with vinyl as well. And then I'm kind of getting uh, up to speed with my videos so always thanks for watching and uh, commenting and uh, for the new subscribers as well you know thank you very much and uh, hope you enjoy it be sure